Today you're going to be painting your angry bird and keep in mind you are painting or creating a certain character with your angry bird. You're going to want to show that character's personality through the colors that you select as well. Now you could copy an angry bird that's on the board or you can make up your own angry bird and kind of make some artist decisions about what colors you're using. I'm going to follow the angry bird character that's on the board, the red angry bird, and I'm going to stick with red for my guy. Now clay is very porous, which means it has little tiny holes in it, kind of like our skin. So this clay is going to dry pretty quickly. It will probably be dry by the end of the hour. But with that also comes the idea that there's lots of different uneven surfaces or textures to your clay. So we are going to want to cover all of the white of the clay with paint. So that means two things. You might need to do multiple coats which means once one part of the clay is dry with the paint, I'm going to come back over and I'm going to do it a second time to make sure that there's no white spots. It also could mean that you could get your brush a little bit more wet than you normally would painting on paper. And that will help the paint kind of seep into those little cracks and crannies that are on your clay. You are going to paint your Angry Bird using inspiration from the board or from your own imagination. Now this is the back third grade. You're going to want to paint the back as well because when they're on display in the library, people might see that. So make sure you paint the back. This is the bottom where your name is. You could also paint the bottom of your Angry Bird. Once your Angry Bird is painted, there are no white spots except for maybe the pupils on the eyes or the eyes. You are going to bring it to the clay cart by the kiln door to dry and I will display these in the library. Make sure you're using really great craftsmanship and a careful brush to paint in your Angry Bird today.